Hi, uh, my name is Rajiv Bethune. I'm here with Music Marketing to give you guys a little uh, quick overview uh, of some of the key features in this software synthesizer that I have here called Hive, manufactured by a company called UHE. Uh, it's a German company um, by a guy named Urs Heckman, who had created this as a synthesizer for somebody who needs a subtractive synthesizer that's very easy to use and uh, is very light on CPU processing power. All right, so to get started here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load up a, uh, just an initial patch there, so not much going on. Uh, just to give you an idea of the ease of use on this. So this is geared to the electronic musician. This is geared towards the guys who are making the EDM and any kind of, uh, kind of more aggressive type of electronic music, whether it's like industrial or anything like that. If you need just really strong screaming leads or some, some fat basses or some arpeggiators, this will, uh, this will definitely succeed in giving you that. Um, if you wanted to just create some patches, you can uh, set, your, set your oscillator to 16. You can do a little detune. Uh, the way these filters run, uh, filter one feeds into filter two, so you're able to actually get some more fatter sounds out of it. Uh, each of these filters have an input gain, which will give you more drive. Another uh, very key feature of Hive is the drag and drop modulation section. So if you look down here, Normally you'd see your keyboard, but you can open up these 12 slots for modulating different parameters in the synthesizer. And just to show you how easy that is, if you select your source, so LFO1, which is right here, set my rate up, you just select target by dragging it over any parameter which you wish to modulate, which makes this very easy to use. Just like so. The effects section is another uh, key feature to talk about is the fact that you can rearrange the order in which the effects uh, are processed. And so let's say you wanted to start with an EQ, you can just drag that to the top, activate it. So and let's say you wanted to delay, you can put that right after, activate it. And then continue on, and you can have all your effects. So again, when you rearrange it, then it'll sound uh, different because of the way it's chained together. Also uh, noted here is uh, that it's got a sequencer built right in and an arpeggiator. You can turn on the arpeggiator just like so, select the direction that you want and how many octaves. And that's your arpeggiator. It also has a sequencer down here which you can input with your mouse. If you go to the section down here where you can set how many semitones and tones, transpose it. You can select like so. Now when I play, it'll sequence itself with whatever notes that you'd put in. Or you can just hit record. Play a little something on your keyboard. And then when you play, sequence to the, uh, the sequence of notes which you had inputted while it was recording. So once again, this synth is geared towards your electronic musician who needs in-your-face sounds uh, for EDM and, and things like that. Uh, another uh, note I have to make here is the fact that it has three different uh, engines. So if clean, dirty, and normal. So these two will give you a little more distorted uh, distorted features, more drive than the clean uh, for when you're trying to make lead patches and stuff. 
If you have any questions regarding the Hive synthesizer, uh, please feel free to contact your sales engineer at Sweetwater and they'll be happy to assist you with whatever questions you have.